Alright, welcome back in. Today we are going to talk about gold and how to make it early on in the game before you have liberated any of your towns. Uh, and we're going to talk about that through the traders. Now I'm going to go through the towns and show you the merchant for each town. I'm going to show you the two booksellers and then I'm going to show you the two special vendors that you should concern yourself with. There are additionals. I'll maybe toss a, an honorable mention at the end, uh, but they all tend to be exactly the same. Now, I'll, the timestamps will be below that you can skip around to each uh, variety, but first we're going to start with town merchants. So, it is possible, you see I'm protector at the bottom right, that it opens up more the higher you get. I don't remember it being that much more, but just keep that in mind. I'm not protector with every single one of these guys. Alright. So, if you want to make a little cash and you, let's say, you're making berry jam or you have an overabundance of reed because of where your village is, these numbers are not always the same. The value, as far as I can tell, is always the same. Simple Axe, for example, it's very easy to make, but there's another vendor that buys it for 20. We are keeping the piece so keep that in mind when you're looking dashboard. at these. They tend to change. I wouldn't sell feathers early on in the game just because you'll need them for gambesons uh, until you have started liberated and get into your better gear. And then things you can buy. This did expand a little bit. I don't know if it was due to questing like Mushroom Stew he didn't sell early on, I don't believe. Um... But you can see kind of what he has. And then I'll be right back with you. We'll hop over to the next town. Let me show you the where I'm at. So here's Herndeen. Here's where I am on the map icon. And now we are in Padstow. So Padstow is here in relation to Herndeen, which is here. This is going to be their main A town merchant. So you can see the items he sells. Once again... Uh, the number is not always the same, the volume. Uh, prices tend to be about the same. They, they're pretty similar between my friend and, in our co-op and my solo game. And these are the items he uh, bought, or you can buy from him. In the wintertime, roasted mushrooms for seven is not a terrible idea. If you just need to keep your people from starving to death in a hurry, that's not a bad choice. Now we have moved on to Bradford. This is right here. And if we look on the map, you've got Herndeen up here, Padstow over here, Bradford is off in this area. If you look where I'm at, I'm right by the sign. This is your merchant. He is very important early on in the game because he buys pelts. So if the traps are working for you currently, by the way, in the next or the first content patch, that is getting fixed where they get stuck on the traps and they never do anything with it so the trapper will actually work in that uh, if you have excess hides excess furs you can make a whole lot of money same with boar tusks fangs excess mind you you can make a whole heap and lot, lot of money every day from this guy and these are the items he sells where i said that seven gold for the uh roasted mushrooms in the winter time if you need to save your people uh he's got small meat here uh, sometimes this big meat is cheaper than that. Sometimes I've seen it for five, but reasonable price if you need to cook things and just basically save your people from starving to death. We are now at Black Ridge Pool. You do need to be careful here. Uh, you can see where I'm at on the map. Bandits walk right through town and they walk through town often. So, bigger map, Herndeen up here, Padstow, we're down here, Black Ridge Pool. This is the town merchant. So this guy buys some interesting things. If you have an abundance of straw at five gold apiece, that can be pretty good money. And he is a very cheap seller of seeds. Plus he's also got the 20% uh, XP buff apples. So very nice indeed, some of the things he says his furs are overpriced. But these are the items you can sell to him. Alright, now we are over in Farnworth. Uh, the one I call Farnsworth all the time for some reason. Uh, Horndeen's up here. Blackridge Pool's here. We are over in Farnworth. You can see where I'm on the map. I'm on a different character because, uh, fair warning, I don't know which quest it is. 
but you can permanently lock yourself out of this vendor if you are not careful. I think I know which one it is. I'm not going to say it due to spoilers. Just be aware of that. So we're going to see what Anna Stand has for sale. For journey ahead. So to purchase, uh, that's not as good as the uh, price you get in Horndean, or I mean uh, Bradford. Tusks, I think, are the same. Pelts are worse. Fangs, I can't remember. So here's another one that will buy some of that stuff. If he's all out and you still got extras, here you go. And then what she sells... Once again, same thing. If you're just you're dying to keep your people from expiring of starvation in the wintertime, this is another way you can come get it. Uh, the other things are just too expensive. And straight south of Black Ridgepool, we have Horndean. Not to be confused with Herndean. You can see where I'm at. We are just straight south of Black Ridgepool. And this is the Times merchant tough, for the town. So the things he will purchase, uh, that's not a very good value for rope, if I'm being honest. But man, you could just go grab some logs outside of town, but carrying three at a time would take you forever. Uh, shovel's a decent price. Decent being the relative word. Uh, that's not a good price at all for these. And then you can see the things he sells, including copper ore. If you are, and tin ore, if you are just desperate for copper and you hate mining by hand, which is awful, by the way, uh, 10 gold each is really not bad to come buy from him. For our last in our town visits, we are down in Krasmere. So Krasmere is literally the bottom of the world, as far as we are aware, until expansions come out. Uh, I am right here, and we are looking for this guy who likes to walk a lot. What can I interest you in today? So the items he Work purchases, no which are very easy to grow. If you have abundance of these, like one potato seed can sometimes produce like 14 potatoes. Man, that's some good money. And he sells, of course, the Cloudberries, which I read in the patch notes for the upcoming content patch. Uh, they're going to reduce how quickly this expires. And then he also sells the Fish Stew for uh, some XP bonuses. Spices and salt if you need it. I don't know if there's any other way to get those in-game. So cool to have that available. Another freezing morning. All right, for most people, this is going to be your earliest, most important vendor. I am here on the map by, zoom in far enough, Craftsman's Hut. Very nondescript. You can see where I am in relation to Herndine. It's actually a quest you get very early on. And this is yeah, where you can purchase you know. straps. He does not always sell one every day. Some days he doesn't have it, but he usually has it. But they're kind of expensive. Good enough is he will buy wood and simple cord from you. This you can have made, it just takes one flax, so once you have set up a way to get flax very well, set your villagers up to where they're, they are making, say, 20 of these a day, keep it on, on stock all the time, and you can come sell to him. The wood you can get literally right next to his hut, and it's a great way to make some early cash to be able to buy your books. And here's going to be your second most important vendor. He's really the same as the first one. I'll show you where he's at. So this is Exiled Craftsman's Hut. If you look, here's Herndine, here's Bradford, and here's Padstow. Uh, I believe you get a quest to come from Padstow over to Bradford, and you'll see him over here, so you'll see where he's at. He is the same as the first in that he will buy wood and simple corn, cord, and he sells a strap. So, very nice indeed. you got a whole stand of wood right there. There's a bunch back there. There's a bunch here, and you can find it over there. So, you can actually make more selling things to him that's right here than you can uh, for the cost of the 75 gold. And now you can see I'm at the book seller. We are still in Herndine. And here he is right. There is the elder. Here he is. The vendor was about right there, the merchant. Hello there, seeker of knowledge. This is where you will buy your first level of books, the 500 XP books, but some aren't aware you can sell him books. So if you fi find the 500 XP books out in the wild, and let's say cooking, 
cooking levels so fast, who care, or even more so, farming. Oh my god, farming levels so fast. Um, should be more grateful. I tend to sell them and make gold. I mean, I you see, I don't have much gold right now, but that's okay. And it's a great way to get some early gold if you do not need that. Labor is nice, but, you know, there's a lot of things in here that just don't matter because they level quickly. And now we have the book seller in Padstow. Once again, this is where we're at. And this is going to be how you purchase your second level of books, which require level three. They're 1,500. Uh, and you can sell them for 150 gold. So it's he buys them for half price, which is outstanding. So again, if you can get some farming books uh, that are this uh, journeyman, 150 gold is not too shabby at all. As a nice little honorable mention, we have herbalists. They are all over the place, including one right at the beginning. This one is Alex Amanita Hut, and you can find these all over the place. I mean, they're all kinds of places, and they Welcome. tend to sell what the exact same things. Not 100% identical, but pretty darn close as to what you can buy from them, but also what you can sell to make money. He has mushrooms right behind his hut. You can go get nine of them. Sometimes this number's higher, sometimes it's lower, and make two gold each. I know that doesn't sound like a lot, but early in the game, when money is very, very important and you can't trade yet, this is a valuable piece. Or maybe you have some of your peasants put the, or your villagers put the thing on cooked meat, and you rather have the uh, smoked meat. You could sell that. Same with the small game. If your traps are working. By the way, that's getting fixed in the next patch. They just put the patch notes out on Discord. That's fantastic. The second in our line of honorable mentions are fishermen. So this one happens to be the first one you come across. Paul Fishburn Dock. Right next to Padstow. Now, there are a few problems with this. There are wolves that run around here. You can see there's a couple stuck in the water. That's being fixed as well in the next patch. They're going to fix NPCs being literally stuck by the water. There's also bandits along here, and they can walk back through here, so early on it's oh, a little tricky. Anything? So this is your first experience of how you can get two fish, which then make the fish feast, which give you bonus XP, and what he will buy from you isn't quite as good. I never sell this because I use these myself. Um, mushroom stew, it takes much later until you're able to make mushroom stew. So, yeah. Uh, and then he usually doesn't purchase much for cord. So you're not going to make as much through the fish, uh, the fishermen. And there's quite a few of them spread around. Uh, there's even on this other side right over here, there's fisherman's hut. I believe he sells a few other things as well. So that gives you a round out of all your basic vendors throughout the game and what you can do to make money. Thanks for watching.